So we've heard quite a few uh, views or two very, very uh, clear views on leadership, the difference between leadership and management and leading a situation. Let's bring this to the case study at hand. How did we get to this situation in the case study? What do you think brought this on? I have a number of key questions, I think. Uh, is this about the system and how we reward people and how people are motivated? And in our team, is there one individual who's very highly motivated and focused? Um, so I really need to understand better why one individual is really performing mm -hmm. extremely well in some ways, but it's having a negative impact on the rest of the team. Mm -hmm. So is it about bringing the performance of other members of the team up mm -hmm. to the mark? And if, if, So is that a training issue? Is that a developmental uh, issue that we should be dealing with? So I really, we really need to understand what those issues are, what it is that's causing this frustration. Um, it might be we have a difficult personality, and that becomes much more difficult to deal with if it is uh, a personality who is un unable to adapt to the norms of the organisation and to feel that they can be part of an effective part of that team. Um, so, really need to understand and make a judgment about this individual. Mm -hmm. And if are there ways we can help that individual actually better understand the way we want them to play that role and to contribute for the organisation. Mm -hmm. um, the key drivers for this is recognition that the whole team needs to perform and there is a reward for that. But also there is the individual motivation that each of them as individuals uh, mm -hmm have the opportunity to, uh, to perform and get reward for it. So we need to really explore some of those issues and find what is the best way to deal with that. Very interesting. So you'd, you'd, by analysing the situation, you need to know what caused this, what was the culture, what was the individual uh, you know's role in this, what was the leadership role, etc. So a Indeed. lot of dynamics into play to understand the situation for what it is. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. And, it, and it can be as fundamental as have senior management given enough guidance yeah. and provided the right framework for the people to achieve what's needed to be achieved. Yeah, like we're saying, leadership's a complex issue, isn't it? Jake, if you were to try and pinpoint how we got to the situation, the current situation, before we move on just now and I think do a bit of problem solving about where to next, what, what would be your assessment of this? I think you've got a, a very highly motivated, focused individual who's performing incredibly well and everybody thought he was going to. Um, I think there was probably some expectation of management that didn't take place in the early stages here and he was probably uh, given the impression that he could be acting as an individual within that team and this is the great mantra of course there's no I in team and you actually have to work together um, I think the rest of the team we need to understand what's the problem with them what's their concern it could be jealousy about how well this guy's performing so I think we need to work with them as well as this individual to bring them all together to improve the performance of the team as a whole Okay, so we've assessed the situation, and it's quite complex. Jake, if I might ask your opinion on what would you do if you were in the situation? I think there are two major aspects to this situation that um, Sue Jackson's in at the moment. I think she ha has got to sort out the immediate problem of the, uh, the bonuses, the reward and remuneration piece, and she needs to do that fairly. Um, she's got £200,000 and 10 employees, so I would divide that straight, 20000 each, uh, and then go up and down from that baseline, depending on the performance, adding a bit for good performance, taking a bit off for bad performance, and then having an equal measure, weighted the same, for how you interact with the team. Mm -hmm. So and you can go up and down on that mm -hmm. part as well, and then coming up with uh, a total for each individual based on that sort of a system. At the same time, I would uh, take uh, the, in the high-performing individual, uh, and I would give him an appraisal. I would sit him down and talk to him about his good points and how well he's doing, in his performance, but also talk to him about how he's interacting with the team and find out from him why he's doing what he's doing. Um, perhaps he doesn't really understand what he's doing. Perhaps he just doesn't know and can be coached around in order to achieve a better interaction with the team. And then also I'd get the rest of the team together without the individual uh, and talk to them about how they can bring this individual into the team, how they can interact with him, how they can bring him on as a coaches and mentors to work much more closely. I think also I would give the individual a warning 
I would say if you can't change the way you interact with this team, perhaps we might need to look at uh, uh, further issues and further disciplinary action. Okay. So what I'm what I'm hearing from you is there's a, there's a long term perspective. Uh, yes, I there's think so. a there's a, this guy possibly belongs in the team, but there's a very short term urgency to manage that to manage his expectations around the the values and the culture of the team being a team player, and then what I also heard from you is possibly manage the team itself, right? The situation around the team and and the discontent that they have for the specific individual. Yes, and I think you've got to uh, get to talk to them, uh, understand them. Uh, Ameliorate their concerns. They're obviously mm. concerned about something. What is it? Is it uh, their own position? Is it their own reward and enumeration? Mm. Is it the whole team? Is it the, the way the team dynamics is working? Mm. Understand that mm. and then uh, allay those concerns as much as you can uh, and ask them for their help to work together, all of mm. them, to bring this in individual into the fold. Brilliant. Roger, your thoughts on that? Would you agree with Jake I'd on that? I'd mirror Jake on that. Um, I think we need here to develop a climate of trust and understanding, mm. and that will involve better understanding and having a one-to-one -one, uh, with Brooke. Uh, hopefully will mm. give us some clues about the issues there. Mm. And as Jake said, we need a conversation with the rest of the team and, of course, we need to deal with that quite sensitively, uh, not openly, but, but uh, done quietly, um, so that we can, as a manager and leader, she can understand better what the issues are and she can then begin to work up an, an effective solution. Mm -hmm. um, and I also agree with Jake on the sense that we have a short-term horizon, which is the bonus scheme needs to be resolved we need to be doing that in something like a time frame of two weeks. But I do believe that through this same process, we're actually working for the longer term benefit of the team. We're trying to use the longer term, help people understand the expectations of performance, their roles in terms of that performance, and then move to the long term so that we do that effectively as well. Fantastic. So I've heard, uh, I've heard a similar view from both of you. Uh, look at the long-term and the short-term management of that. Um, I guess another option would have been just to leave it as is and let the team sort itself out. But, but, but here's a third option. Uh, I once read in a, in a publication that when you're dealing with an individual where there's a clear conflict between their performance and their, their culture, their alignment to culture, uh, the article actually said that they're like a disease to the system. What about just taking a long-term view on this and saying uh, this guy's never going to adjust to the, the values of the culture um, and possibly just get rid of him? I, I have a bit of a saying, coach in, don't assess out. Uh, mm -hmm. And I think this is a, a great situation for that coaching in. I think we've got an individual here who is very good at what he does, does bring in the revenue uh, for the whole team, and we need to coach him into changing his attitudes. Um, I understand that there are certain bad apples that can be in the barrel and put everything else mm -hmm. off, and you have to cut those out of the organisation. That does happen occasionally. Mm -hmm. But first of all, before you get to that stage, you must go through a process of trying to help the individual better themselves, improve mm -hmm. themselves, because that's what will be to the benefit of the whole organisation in the future. Fantastic. Roger? There's a classic strategy which I heard from a chief executive, which was they to use every opportunity to get the best out of an individual and make them feel part of the organisation. Uh, they would move them from department to department if necessary. Uh, but if at the end we find we have an individual that is not going to fit with the culture and uh, the people of our organisation, then we need to help that individual to move on to the world where they might be comfortable. And if we have conflict in the organisation, the individual, obviously, is not going to be feeling comfortable in any case and maybe needing that sort of help. So there, are the, the, there is the right way to help people to move on. Fantastic. It seems as then uh, we have consensus on the possible solution to this case study is uh, take a long-term view on it and, uh, and manage the current performance management system or process with the individual. And uh, we don't get rid of the individual. <laughs> And uh, we don't leave it as status quo. But I would, I would give him a warning that uh, his, yep. his behaviour needs to change into the future. So you've made that marker official mm -hmm. as well. Fantastic, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that brings to end this panel discussion on leadership. We hope you've enjoyed it.